this way, Tim! Tim! Tim, right up top here! Hey friend, welcome to my channel, Karina Alude, where we talk about everything and I'm Kareen Alude. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and please be sure to turn on your notification bell so you can always know when I post a new upload. Now let's get into this video. Today we are talking about not just women, but also men who overdo it with the whole sensuality when trying to be sexy just comes off very cringe and too obvious and comical it almost looked too cartoonish and it just seems so unnatural you guys have no idea how women are not the only ones guilty of this men do this too and i will tell you how i will tell you all of the things that just makes it way too obvious and how to do the opposite okay now we know science have tried to explain what is exactly sexy and tried to create these algorithms and systems to determine what makes a person sexy but overall it beauty is in the eye of the beholder and it's not just a saying being sensual has more to do with a certain je ne sais quoi right it's either you have it or you don't for some but we can enhance it well, now what do i mean by the je ne sais quoi i'm gonna give you guys an example of when someone tries too hard now we see marilyn monroe as the epitome of sensuality throughout decades people have used her as the symbol of sensuality right hands down in hollywood glamour no other woman appeals that more than a marilyn monroe that's why she's so popular and so copied now you have a kim kardashian and this is by no mean hate i always tell you guys i don't mind kim i do not dislike kim okay but you saw that she tried to wear a dress that marilyn wore and just the essence the je ne sais quoi that marilyn monroe had in that dress she herself kim did not have she did not do it justice and that's just my opinion and the opinions of many other there's a way marilyn wears a dress she wears the dress and it didn't necessarily believe it or not have much to do with her body shape it's her subtle movement her gestures she knew how to do it without it being so forced it just always came off so natural and effortless but with the kim it just seemed like it's attention seeking everything that she does and it just didn't come off natural the dress wore her she didn't wear the dress that's kind of like the difference that we're talking about with like the force sensuality and then just the light sensuality where you just you know it comes natural no matter what you wear your aura your essence you just naturally have it and then there's the people that just do too much we're going to talk about all of that and throughout this video I may use Kim and Marilyn often just because I know Kim is trying to become the next Marilyn, but she's going about it, in my opinion, the wrong way. And I'll tell you guys where those mistakes are happening. And I'm going to save the best for last, of course. But let's talk about number one, when women try to bend over too much, just looking for attention, you know, dropping things and oops, so obviously bending over while maintaining that creepy eye contact where they think it's so sensual and so cute, but I'm, I watch it and I'm like, oh, please stop it's so obvious what you're trying to do you've ever been in a setting and I want you guys to comment below you've ever been in a setting where everybody's sitting down like I'll give you guys for me I'm a church girl y'all know that right I be at church and there's some girls they know their outfit is fly and they want whoever to that's there to see it they'll get up like 30 times in the service just so you can see whether you are in school there's always that one girl in class that always seems to get up often or like talk loud or like you know it just She's looking for the attention and do too much. You can always tell the ones who's doing that. Whether it's in your workplace too, there's always the one that just seems to be the most talkative, getting up, bending over, looking people too deep in the eyes, giving the flirty eyes, where it's just so obvious to women and it's also obvious to men. Now with men, there's always the men that always is the loudest in the room, that try to be the most flirty, making jokes with women in a way that's just like, you can tell they're just doing too hard and we all roll our eyes when that guy comes in. Can I get a hug? Dang girl, licking the lips, you know, that kind of guy. And you're just like, sir, you're doing too much. Versus the guy we know in the corner that just kind of scopes the room like a lion, you know, that just has that calm demeanor. He don't have to do too much. He sits there, he knows his worth. Or men, you see that woman that's just sitting there in that silent confidence where she knows she's all that. She don't need to get up and bend over and make people see her and just devour the room with her presence she has that natural calm quiet demeanor that you just see now you can have a boisterous personality that that's natural like that could be your personality too the issue comes when it's obvious that you're doing it to get to be looked at and it's 
obvious that you're doing it to get attention that is the problem if you're naturally like when i'm around my girls i'm not trying to worry about no guys coming to talk to me i'm gonna be myself honey okay i will laugh crack up and do all of that stuff because i'm here to have a good time and i'm not trying to you know but if you're in a room and that is your goal you're trying to you're in a dating world some of us intentionally date and you want to get the right attention and for it to not come off cringe don't do too much you always can tell when a girl it's always so obvious when i'm in a room i can always tell who has a crush on who because i can see already that the girl is doing too much or the guy is doing too much just if you understand body language you can always tell who likes who they're just overdoing it and i've been guilty of it i didn't know better i'd be the one dancing the most at the function or you know doing the most and it's just it, it'll get you the wrong type of attention and then it also looks so forced and so cringe where you're just like oh but overlooking at someone like they say eye contact is, is sensual right where they just looking at you with the flattering eyes and never looking away making it obvious that they're looking at you a lot of men believe it or not science has shown have been turned off to that when women do that too it just comes off more aggressive sensuality and it's like hmm she's a little too easy too quick why are you doing that that's for some men some men like it if they're more shy they probably would want you to make it obvious for them so that they can be comfortable to come talk to you but in a general consensus because my videos are not like the absolutes we know like I said sensuality is in the eye of the beholder and speaking of that I want you guys to comment what is that one non-sexual okay thing that a person can do that can just easily just oh enhance their attractiveness to you what is that one thing for me it's nothing physical or how they look or anything it's just conversation that's that's just it for me if you spark a good conversation we don't even have to agree with each other you could be on the furthest right of the spectrum if I'm engaged and you're engaged and we're just going and we're talking that does it for me we don't even have to agree I don't want somebody to agree with me all the time and I don't want someone that wants me to agree with them all the time but good conversation really does it for me now that we got that all the way like the licking the lips the biting the lips the doing all of that stuff is just too much sometimes you have to learn how to subtly do it if you are going to do those things you looking at them you make eye contact do it for like 0.5 seconds make sure they see you looking at them you smile and then you look away don't hold the eye contact and then flip the hair show the neck and giggle like all that is just too much you can look and smile and they already know you know versus the, <laughs> the little childish giggle and all that stuff that just comes off forced second thing is wearing shorts tight stuff not that there's anything wrong with it. if there's a time and place for that there is right but a lot of women and men think that the more of their body that they show the more sensual they will come off to be which is where we go with like a Marilyn Monroe and a Kim Kardashian you'll see Marilyn Monroe would go on the red carpet sometimes in a full ball gown and a fur coat or whatever she's fully covered with gloves and all of that fully covered nothing short nothing super tight and she just consumes the room with her sensuality because it has nothing to do with what she's wearing okay she does not have to do too much and oftentimes especially in this society a lot of women feel like the only way they get attention because they don't have that natural feminine soft energy they just feel like they have to wear the bust revealing or hips and buns revealing type of outfit when it again is not it, it just comes off like you're trying right imagine when we're going to a function if you see a group of girls especially the younger girls older women tend to have a little bit more experience and know not to do that and what type of guys it will attract they've done live life but you see the younger girls when they're going out whether it's a club to go you know meet guys or they're going to maybe even if it's a football game they know there's going to be hot guys there you'll always see the group of girls that are there for that kind of attention they're all like super wearing the super shorts the less revealing like you can always tell and you're like oh my goodness right so i want you guys to know like i said with a Marilyn, she never had to do too much a dorothy dandridge 
always was fully dressed. You won't see Dorothy Dandridge in anything really scampt, even if it's a bathing suit. It was never really, and then she just captures your attention with her clothes on, you know? I'm not saying like, if it's your job, you know, like you're an influencer or a bikini model or model in general, there's no issue with that. Like, you know, like a Naomi Campbell is doesn't come off, you know, attention seeking and she may walk the runway in just a bikini or something like that. Like, we're not talking about that, but we're talking about you're just in general society. You're at the grocery store, you're at church, you're at school, you're at your son's football game or whatever the case is. And you're just always overdoing it, thinking that you're attracting that sensual energy when it's not. Instead, people are looking at you like it's forced, it's cringe, you're doing too much. Why is this girl dressed like this at her son's football game? Why did you come to a graduation like this? Why did you come to church like this? You know, and it's not to um, judge. Like I know some people don't like to hear this, but this is all science. Like I said, I did my research on that. And most men and women don't really do well with that. Not for the men, especially if they work out, especially if they go to the gyms. Oh, God forbid they have a little six pack or their pecs are sizzling hot, you know? They will wear the wife beaters down. They will wear those tiny little tank tops to show all their muscles, those tight pants, the skinny jeans and all that to show their print or the shorts. Y'all do it too. Men thirst trap too. I'm like, why don't you wear Under Armour? To me, I know a lot of women like that. I don't, and if you're, this of course video is for people that wanna date higher caliber people. And uh, of course, whether men or women, and not just that, people that wanna just refine themselves. It's not for everybody, of course. But me personally, if I see a man just wearing his gray shorts, knowing that everything down there is being seen too, I'm like, sir, sir, you must be a woman that's behind the scenes. Cause I know you know this is showing. Like you could have wore some under armor, some compressor shorts, you know, you could have figured this situation out. Like, why is it all out? Like, you know, okay, we see your pecs. But must you come out in this tight, tight, tight tank top all the time or tight shirts, tight pants? Like men do it too to try to show off their assets. It's not just women and they can come off too much. We want you to have tailored clothes for yourself, clothes that fit you well, that you know, you just kind of sit there. I find the most attractive men are men that are not always trying to be seen with what they wear. Like you have all designer with all the labels showing all the tight clothes because they'll do it in different ways you know what i mean and they probably would spray themselves down with that cologne oh let them figure out some yves saint laurent cologne and they're just all over their hair their everything that their smell just overpowers the room with them and i love a man that smells good but i don't want the whole room to be filtered by your scent you know what i mean and all your labels with the glasses and your tight tight shirt arms and all those things there's a way also that it can look too much and it can come cringe and it can look like you're overly trying to look rich which is what most men do what they dress for because they know the more wealthy they look the more women would be attracted to them but sometimes you guys just can overdo it and it's best to just be a little bit like ladies comment below what is more attractive to you the guy who's in the room who's making the biggest scene with the tightest shirt and his muscles and all of that or the guy you see with that quiet confidence sitting in the back room, not really trying to be seen, but is trying to see everybody else, just scoping off the room with that gentle confidence, which is more attractive to you. And fellas, comment below too, which is more attractive? I wanna see a general consensus. The woman that you see that's everywhere, laughing the loudest, jumping all around, super short skirt, can't even bend down, she's constantly pulling her shirt. You ever seen a woman that's constantly adjusting her shirt, constantly adjusting her skirt to where you know, like sis, if you were gonna pull your skirt down this much, why did you wear it? <laughs> You know, let it sit on you. Or even if you're gonna wear something short, tape it down, right? You can tape your skirts down to where they don't rise. You can tape your, your shirts down to where the cleavage don't open. Even if it's short, it's tasteful. A rule of thumb for women also, if you're gonna wear a revealing top, wear a longer bottom. If you're gonna wear a shorter bottom, wear a more longer, more conservative top. Like balance it off. Never have a, a revealing top and a revealing bottom all at the same time. Then it can look tasteless, but you can mix and match with that okay now third overdoing the makeup and for my you know fairer skin people 
overdoing the tan <laughs> overdoing the lining of the lips and things like that and even for the guys you've seen a guy that's overly tinned like you can see his eyes are are as pale as could be around the corners of his eyes and the rest of his face is bright orange and you're like sir sir and same for women women of all races and genders overlining the lips to where you look like a blow doll and it's not saying some people naturally have lips you can always tell but that, that you can always tell when someone's overdoing it right overdoing it and putting too bright of colors i love colors i think it's nice for things but when you are dating the more subtle and soft and natural beauty you can um, promote the more natural you look the more attractive it can appear just by science now it is different for everyone there are people i do know men genuinely i do because you know especially being from the caribbeans we love color men love the women to look natural but they don't mind color they don't mind color they don't mind a woman you know like you wear your little purple lipstick or something like that or your colorful clothes we're, we're we're caribbean people but there's a way it can be too much like if you have like 30 different shades on your eyelash your eyelashes are like super long they look like centipedes are about to fly away and stuff like that doing too much in the dating stage can just come off like you're covered a lot okay i love makeup i wear it often but i've learned that the more subtle of makeup especially in corporate world when i worked in corporate america having meetings with high executives and ceos and stuff like that the more natural i look the more serious they took me and not just that the more i saw i naturally got attention and it was the right attention and when i used to because i was guilty of all of these things i used to wear stuff that was way too short for me i used to be the one walking up and down the aisle all the time overdoing the makeup and guess what you get the attention you get the attention all right but it's always from the dustiest of the dust okay and it's not just that but like even from other women I was attracting women that just wanted to party all the time that always had boyfriend trouble like I wasn't attracting a caliber of women that just had their stuff together either like I was attracting the women that I was trying to I thought was so sexy I was trying to look like and these women didn't seem to from my personal experience have their stuff together and it's like when I toned it down I started attracting higher quality friends and I also started attracting higher quality men the men that would come and talk to you were always wealthier well to do that weren't really shallow like that you'll see it a lot of men I say the most elevated men are not that shallow to look at stuff like that. You'll find the men that want a certain aesthetic tend to be very shallow or very nouveau rich or very still young, just trying to have fun type of thing. That's just my thing. And and for the men also, that there's a, oh, I don't, I don't know, ladies. I love a man that groom, I do. But I still want you, it shouldn't look like you put more effort into your look than me. That's just me as a woman. like. If you're a, a hetero male, of course, you know, like I, I don't want to, I don't know. That's just a preference. It's a preference. Comment below with your preference, ladies. I don't want my man getting his eyebrows waxed with me and his arch is more defined than mine. Okay. That's just not for me. There's a way there's the extra groom. Like there's grooming. Come on. I worked in corporate grooming was very important. What watch they wore, their shoes being clean, their suits being tailored. Those are all a must, but there's a difference between a man who kind of just overdoes it with the grooming to where now the woman if you're looking for a higher caliber woman that's going to see you as this the word that the manosphere like to use alpha male you don't really associate that with a man who takes longer in the bathroom than you if that makes sense you know what i mean it's the same with the tight clothes and stuff like that some women who are higher caliber want that dominant man that can take care of them and typically that's not associated with that because I know a lot of people can't be honest these days we we can't be honest we can't keep it real we can't have our preferences or anything like that everybody there'll be a group of people who's mad at this a group who's mad at that but that's just the reality women are not speaking to okay I want to do a poll in the comments ladies do you want your man to be in the bathroom longer than you with his routine, his beauty routine. And I love a good grooming, okay? I will do a face mask for my man. We will have our self-care day together. Now, honey, I do not want your eyebrows to be more arched than mine. I just do not want it. <laughs> I do not want it. Those men oftentimes think they're coming off as sexy and well-groomed, but women see them a little bit more feminine, if, if, that, if, if I'm being honest. Now, 
the fourth laughing too hard at his or her jokes overdoing it like i used to have a friend i used to have a friend who she laughs very energetically and she was telling me you know how she had to learn to tone that down because when she laughs she's a hitter you know there's different types of laugh people so with men and women alike if something is funny she'll push you and then she'll hit you like to laugh and it, it could be a little it could be a little rough a little rough even for me but like you know it wasn't a problem for me whatever I could take a hit I could take a good hit you know <laughs> but there was this guy she was really attracted to who was a good friend of mine and I was trying to set him up and he told me straight up yo it's just beautiful girl I like her but I don't like how aggressive she is I was like aggressive she's the nicest girl I know it's like no every time she she laughs she hits me I don't like that and she be hitting kind of hard she got a little good aim on her and it made her come off very strong strong I don't know how to say that but I was like wow what a small detail that you know and then I I'm always gonna keep it real with my girls and I told her yes yeah, this this that and the third she was like oh man and I'm like yeah he's not for you and she was like no it's not that I've been told that several times before so I'm just gonna work on it I'm a work on how I laugh and stuff and it sounds so silly you know like why can't I be myself because when I'm with her we be cracking up we nudge each other too you know when I laugh with her but I understand that the way you can do it sometimes can come off too much can scare somebody can do that like there's it's not just in that token if you know the person's not funny also but you're just laughing at everything and they know they're not funny I know when I have not been funny and somebody's just laughing and I'm like bro what I said wasn't even that funny <laughs> You know what I mean? And they're just overdoing it with the laugh or anything they say just sounds so deep. You're just like, wow, that's deep. Uh huh. I understand. I understand your logic. Nothing for me, personal preference, turns me off more than someone like every single thing I say is so deep. It's like, and we're trying to talk like, come on, let's be real. You don't got to agree with everything I say. Not everything I say is deep. Okay, sir. Just like everything you say is not going to be deep. It's not going to be profound. It's not going to touch me. I'm not going to get something from it. Like we could be a little, we could be a little slow together. We could have our dumb moments where girl, that sounds so stupid or boy, like, you know, that didn't make sense. Make our jokes and stuff. But sometimes when we want someone to like us so bad, we want them to see that we like them, that we overdo it with laughing at their jokes. And we overdo it with taking everything they say as some big profound thing. And it comes so obvious or we're listening a little too intently. Like we're making it so obvious that we want them to see that we're listening to them. We got the hand under the chin, the squinting eyes, leaning forward, the eye contact that just seems to never break it can be very intense and it's not chill like imagine going on a date and the whole time is so intense the person is paying such close attention to you hand under the chin squinting leaning in, never breaking eye contact and you feel like you have to be smarter than usual or have to keep up saying something it's best to just sit chill you can listen make eye contact without doing the cartoonish situations of laughing too hard or taking everything he or she is saying so deep I don't know if that makes sense but I know it makes sense to me <laughs> next thing is making dirty jokes oh guys too soon for it now there's people that have that humor Haitian culture from the Caribbeans we're some dirty people when it comes to the dirty jokes we'll all will be virgins making them dirty jokes okay it's just the culture <laughs> I don't know like it's just the culture families make jokes your mom will make jokes with you like it's just how it is so it's not something culturally that's that offensive until it gets very vulgar like as friends will make jokes with each other right but there's a point where it's like too much if you're especially trying to date the person you're not really gonna come at them in, in that way like you're not really gonna come at them in that way jokes can just like you trying to be flirty when a lot of guys the most cringe texts you taking a shower what you doing i'm taking a shower without me oh it's so dumb it's so dumb i promise you when you text that to a girl you're just talking to she literally just rolled her eyes at the phone i promise you i promise you or you're like oh i'm about to go to bed why don't i come over and lay next to you or some corny stuff like that and it's like sir 
please okay asking for pictures send me a pic do all of those are the quick way for a high caliber woman to just keep you on red and not respond vice versa ladies because there's ladies that'll do the same cringe behavior and the guys will see that oh, okay she's doing too much he might not say no he come and smash but when you see you seven years in the relationship ain't no ring ain't no future nothing then you complaining but you this is what you led with and you were a little too aggressive but i do say like i said there's always an exception to the world there's men that genuinely like that there's women that like that that really there was a stage for that there's an age for that especially when you're in high school and stuff you're dating you don't care for all that stuff or moving too fast but i'm saying the older you get to you kind of want somebody to show you it's not just purely sensual first like have more substance don't just come at me with those type of jokes okay thank you so be mindful of that because it might be doing the opposite why you think you're being cute and flirty you're turning off that person next is speaking too vulgar also not being subtle with it there's a subtle way to flirt there's a subtle way to flirt okay saying hey can i join you in the shower ain't it it ain't it that ain't the way to flirt commenting on a girl's bum or her tatas stuff like that <laughs> not it or you girl you see his little print a little you make a comment or you start to tell him all your exploits before speaking vulgar you know and already telling him what you're gonna do to him or he's telling you what he's about to do to you on the first date it's just like higher if you're dating with intention with purpose stuff like that is not gonna turn you on it's just gonna make you feel like okay what what's the real reason we're here why are you talking to me let's cut to the chase what, what do you think you're gonna get out of this you know what i mean be subtle with it you can be attracted to someone we've all been attracted to it the guy smells good he looks good he's well dressed he's spitting game and you're just like Ooh, you 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 know you're a little, you're a little, you know, there's a little movement in your body. There's a little moisture in your body. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you still contain yourself, you know, gird your loins, <laughs> contain yourself, sis, stand up. <laughs> okay. Don't just give it up that easy. Relax. Don't sweat it. Don't look like you're just that thirsty. Vice versa for the men. You can be attractive. She could look good. She smell good. Her body's sitting right. Everything's sitting well on her. Her conversation game is on point. And you're so tempted to just rush things. Chill. Calm down. Just pace yourself. Because while you think it's turning her on, it can just be a major turn off. Next thing is copying what you think is sexy, which is the last thing. Don't look. Like, this is what we said with Kim and Marilyn. She's copying Marilyn Monroe so much. It's coming off as cringe, y'all. And she has not one sense of style for herself. It's just coming off so cringe. You're like, sis, down to the point of you wearing her outfit and not doing it justice, you know? With the hair, the way she's trying to talk slow and yeah. You guys know, I'm not making fun of that, but it's like, it's, everything is so manufactured with these people that even when they're trying to sound sensual, it just comes off like airheadish. If if I may say where I, I know they're not that way. I know they're come on, these people are are geniuses, okay? Let's not get it. For them to capitalize off of everybody and know how to use the media and all that stuff, they're very brilliant people. Don't get it twisted. But they're trying to do that Marilyn dumb blonde-esque demeanor and try to appear that way. And when Kim saw she's getting older and that's just getting old and it wasn't it started not working as much for her. You know, she's trying to present herself as more educated, got more going on and stuff like that. But it's like people still are going back to the many years you spent trying to portray this, uh, what you thought was Marilyn Monroe-esque demeanor. When you're trying to be someone else, you're trying to emulate what you think is sexy. It just comes off cringe. Be yourself, be natural. Have originality do not under any circumstances try to portray yourself to be something that you're not it's so obvious your lingo got to be your own your fashion senses have your own sense of style but comment below your thoughts share with a friend like engage with this video if you like the songs or music you're listening to in the background all links are in the description i love you guys so much thank you for tuning in until next time